This video demonstrates the use of the Meadows 2D Barcode Module, which can be used to create one-off or fully variable two-dimensional barcodes in any Adobe InDesign document. The product supports QR code, data matrix, and also PDF417 barcode formats. Let's take a look at how it works. To use the product, you start by dragging out a text frame that will identify the area to contain the 2D barcode. Here I've created a text frame in the lower left-hand corner of this postcard. Next, under the MPS menu, you choose 2D Barcode and select Create. Here's the dialog for the 2D Barcode module. At the top of the dialog, you specify the type of 2D Barcode you wish to create. Again, QR code, data matrix, and PDF417 are all supported. Next, you'll enter the data that you wish to encode. All of the popular data formats are supported. After that, you'll choose the encoding, correction, and version that you wish to use for the QR code. All of these are defined in the documentation available online. Finally, you choose the sizing. In this case, we're selecting auto sizing, which will completely size the QR code to fully fill the defined frame, and the positioning. Here we're choosing center. We're going to center the code within the defined frame. Let's click the OK button, and you'll see a QR code will appear. This is a fully scannable QR code ready to go. Now let's take a look at how we make this variable. To make the 2D barcode variable, we're going to use Design Merge software. Design Merge has been completely integrated with the 2D barcode module, allowing the user to create fully variable two-dimensional codes. We've created a link that is tied to a personalized URL. Now to make this variable, we're going to click on the text frame, choose the link for the personalized URL, and we'll also choose a Design Merge rule, which will change the color of the barcode based on criteria coming from the database. I'll click the Tag Box button, and now you'll see two icons, one indicating that this has been tagged as a 2D barcode frame, and the other indicating that it's been tagged as a variable. Now let's see what happens when we start a merge session. As we scroll through the database, you'll see that the barcode data is being encoded, and here we have a fully variable, customized barcode and we're also changing the color as well to match the overall layout of the postcard. Now, of course, when you're working with any type of barcoding, scanning and verification is important. The nice thing about QR codes is they're very forgiving. Here I can take my handheld scanner and actually scan the barcode on screen. You'll see the text that's been encoded below, which is the personalized URL that we're using for the postcard. That's all there is to creating one-off or fully variable barcodes using the new MPS2D barcode module.